full moons, and eclipses. How to deal with emotions during these times. I really need some practical advice. How can I avoid getting nervous during solar and lunar eclipses? My astral body is very sensitive to eclipses and full moons. If I help myself with the matrix and express meditation, I have a positive effect, but then I quickly fall back into a nervous state. Perhaps I could use some runic formulas to deal with this. Okay. First of all, I would like to congratulate you on your ability because what frightens you is actually an indication of your power. You just don't know how to use it, you don't know how to apply it, and you really should learn how to do that. Because the whole point is that hypersensitivity is usually determined by the fact that your psyche and physical body are reacting not to changes in the social world, but to changes in nature. And it is these changes in nature and your reaction to them that indicate how sensitive or insensitive you are. Usually during full moons, lunar eclipses, and solar eclipses, the common space of existence undergoes significant changes in informational status. But more importantly it undergoes changes in energy status. Imagine a battery, an electric battery, a storage battery that is immediately discharged and immediately recharged. Something similar happens to the human physical body during eclipses, it experiences sudden death and rebirth at the same time. It happens to everyone, but very few people are able to feel it. This is because the human psyche usually protects us from such states. Because when you experience it for the first time, you think, all right, I need help. It's time to call a doctor, preferably a good psychotherapist. Because it has such an impact on your worldview that your perception of the world becomes slightly different. And the way your astral body reacts is quite natural. Because our astral body reacts to the danger and safety when there is a sudden loss and gain of energy, and this happens in a matter of seconds. The consciousness usually does not really understand how to react. It gets very frightened. In other words, it perceives such a sudden loss as instant death. Accordingly, when your body is immediately filled with energy, it expresses itself as an emotional outburst, a strong emotional outburst, which of course affects everything and everyone around you, light bulbs, loved ones, relatives, close friends and acquaintances, or just passers-by. It affects everything and everyone it can reach. Your consciousness is not used to such amounts of energy, and this excess energy expresses itself precisely in an outburst of emotion because that is the easiest way to get rid of such an excess of energy. People who know what's going on, or at least prepare their physical bodies for such outbursts, immediately start doing exercises, sit-ups and push-ups, trying to get rid of this excess energy physically. People who do not engage in any kind of physical activity, neither yoga, nor fitness, nor even jogging, nor brisk walking, who take an elevator even to the second floor, People who have such a lifestyle are most likely to get rid of such excess energy mainly through the emotional sphere. So you have two options. The first is to get scared, hide under the covers, and worry about the state of your own consciousness. This is the easiest and most common option. But if you thought it was an acceptable option for you, you probably wouldn't be asking this question. The second option is to learn how to use this state because such an instant loss and gain of energy, and especially your awareness and feeling of it, is an indicator of increased natural sensitivity. All you have to do is learn how to get this energy quickly, how not to waste it on something useless, and how to accumulate a certain amount. For example, to charge amulets, which is actually what we usually do during full moons and eclipses. It is at times like this that we begin to work, 
Every witch knows that if she has a connection with the moon, if she is so sensitive to lunar eclipses, then it is most likely due to her birth details. Because usually people who are born on the day of an eclipse or on the day of a full moon or close to it are particularly sensitive to lunar phases and eclipses. So if it matches your birth date, your birth chart, and you can easily find it out by searching on the internet, it means that the moon itself has blessed you, kissed you, and made you sensitive to such lunar manifestations. This immediate gain and loss of energy indicates that you can use your energy to affect the world around you. In other words, to put it very simply, you can perform witchcraft, at the very least clairvoyance, if you are interested in it. Because clairvoyance is just one of the ways in which you can read information from the world around you and perhaps have a local effect on it. For example, you can heal someone. But it will have minimal effect on the surrounding space. And it would be a primitive use of your own psychic abilities. Because during these times you can do a lot of things. You have enough energy to change your reality. You can improve your space in different ways. For example, you can make magical amulets and talismans. You can really do a lot of things. If you learn not to spit that energy out, but to put it into the pipe, into the vector of attention, and to direct it into something that you need and to use it to achieve the goals that you have set for yourself, you will open up more opportunities for yourself. And as there are calendars that contain information about all the full moons and eclipses, both solar and lunar, you can easily prepare for all these events in advance. You will be able to create your own interesting system of rituals or learn how to use ready-made ones properly. You will be able to make good contact with the moon, because any feminine magic will somehow bring you to the understanding and feeling of the moon. It will give you great opportunities, you just have to learn how to use this energy. You have to practice and practice to develop such abilities, and to see the possibilities that your own feminine nature has opened up for you. The silliest thing you can do is to use your energy exactly as you have just described, which is to destroy your space, to direct it exactly into chaos, because instead of chaos you can direct it into order. So you can not only reduce and increase the entropy in the space around you, there are people who can do that for you. You can channel that energy directly into your mastery, into your craft, where you can be successful because a lot of people who are involved in this craft do not have that ability. They have to develop it specifically. They have to use different psychotropic substances to change their perception, just to feel the space differently. Whereas you can do it on your own, without any psychotropic drugs. So I congratulate you, colleague. You don't have to be afraid of this ability. You just have to break away from the patriarchal foundations and remember that if something abnormal happens to you, something that doesn't happen to everyone, it doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you. It just means that nature has given you an ability that not all people have. And you have to learn how to treat it with understanding, respect, appreciation, and how to use it with 1,500% efficiency.